I can't tell if my hair is doing something sort of Spongebob. Like, is it giving me a, is it giving me a square? Welcome back, folks. Here we are. We're doing another favorites video. These are my August favorites, things that I was feeling and that helped me feel myself in the month of August. Hopefully this will give you some inspo to dig into your own collection and see what you've got going on. Or maybe you're just along for the ride, baby. <laughs> maybe you're just here for the, here for the vibe. So, okay, let's get into it. I have some beauty favorites. I have things that I've been doing that I've really been loving. And I've got a single lifestyle favorite. Like a real true woman of the internet. <coughs> so first favorite, I did something crazy. And I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to get some different base products. I want to get something lighter coverage. I want to get something full coverage. And maybe a wild card. Something that I just want to try. I have become notoriously bad at color matching myself online though. Even though they have these wonderful tools so you can match it with things you already own. When I was thinking about the complexion products that I already owned, I was like, they don't really match me. <laughs> I don't want to match it with those. I'm, I'm constantly combining different things. So I was like, why don't I do something novel and just waltz my ass into a Macy's and get color matched in person. Go to Macy's, go to Sephora, pick up a couple of things and just have somebody color match me there. I have to say the experience was so delightful. It was fast. It was not cumbersome. I feel a lot of social awkwardness in retail situations. Like I feel pressure to buy. It's hard to navigate that relationship between salesperson and and buyer, I guess, person who is purchasing, customer, whoa. I just feel like a lot of pressure in that situation. And this, I just felt, I felt no pressure. I knew exactly what I wanted. I think that helped a lot. Just went in and asked for help. It was matched perfectly. And I love all three things that I got. They're all great. First thing I got was Estee Lauder Double Wear. I got the color 3W2 Cashew. That was what I was matched for. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful match. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'll get to that in a moment. It's just beautiful. It's like the perfect full coverage. It works amazingly with a primer. You just look like you have this filter on your skin. It's gorgeous. If you want something more full coverage, it's a classic. It's been around. New classic? Actually, that's Iggy Azalea but the new, new classic, <laughs> the new classic, Iggy Azalea, and then this, the classic, Estee Lauder Double Wear, she's the one. Then this was my wild card. I went in store and tried this on. I actually didn't get matched for this color, but they had plenty of testers out in Macy's. So I just matched it in store myself. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. It's excellent. Oh my word. I look amazing in this. The color that I got was 19 medium golden olive. It's awesome. It dries down to a matte finish. It's easy to put on with my fingers. You shake it up. It's just a little, like fits well in a bag, but I don't think you would need to touch up with this. This is great. But the thing I'm wearing today, this was my lighter coverage option. It's gorgeous on. It's fun to use. It does exactly what I want it to do and I don't have to use too much of it because it is perfectly matched to my skin tone. This is the <clears throat> Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I have the color 11. Me and Millie Bobby Brown, we're both 11. So this is lovely. It feels amazing. Lately it's been extremely hot when I make my way outside <laughs> and this feels glorious to have on my face. I hate the feeling of having a lot of product on my face. I don't like a super creamy emollient feeling. It like gives me the heebies. It makes me feel like I'm wearing a turtleneck that's too tight. You would think, okay, heavier coverage, more medium to full coverage. Isn't that gonna feel thick on your face? But these are perfectly matched to me so that I don't have to use a lot of any of these. It melts into my skin. It covers up the redness because they're so perfectly matched. They don't require me to like load it up, layer it with other things, mix it with other colors. I don't have to do any of that. I just put one of these on my concealer if I need it and I'm good to go. This was one of the best decisions that I made last month. It, just going in, getting matched, 
and getting things that really work for me instead of having a bunch of products that don't work. Those really work. I'm very thrilled. I'm very impressed with myself. I talked to people this month. I've been having a little bit of fun with some discontinued items. <laughs> It's really important for me as the artist that I am and the artist that I am evolving into that I use the things that I have to create with as opposed to feeling like I'm incomplete unless I buy something new. Sometimes buying something new just feels so good. And I certainly do, but I'm much more conscious of it. And this month I've just been diving into my own collection. So I have a couple of things here that are maybe no longer available. I'm pretty sure they're no longer available, but maybe you have something similar. If one of these tickles your fancy, catches your eye. Maybe you have something similar. I just want to direct you to this glow that I am wearing right now. And you're like, wow, JLo, hello, are you here? Yes. The answer is yes. A few years ago, Jennifer Lopez came out with a collection with Inglot. I think they're a Polish brand. This is the Live in the Highlight Illuminator Face, Eyes, and Body. She came out with a lighter gold and a, a more bronzy gold. This is the lighter one, I believe. But like, are you just crazed right now? Are you crazed with the shine of this? Nuts. I have so been enjoying slapping this on my face and feeling my inner and outer diva, if I'm perfectly honest. This makes me feel like juicy. I want to put this all over my body. If you have any recommendations for something that is still available that is like this, that is just this beautiful wet skin under the Miami sun kind of molten shine, just like melty, super sexy kind of shininess. If you have any recommendations for something, put it in the comments below. We all need to know about it. And this, okay, you can see how like beat up this is, like all my <laughs> makeup covered fingerprints. This is a palette that I got um, a while ago from ColourPop. This is Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And she came out with a beautiful blush collection. The blushes are actually one, two, three, and then four right here. These colors are very beautiful. The blush formula is great. The pans are nice and large. I've just really been, can you see that? Just a beautiful sheen. Look at this one. This one looks so beautiful on. It's like a nude, warm peach, a more vibrant, shimmery peach, this like mauve, and then this fiery lava orange. They're so beautiful and they're in my collection. And I'm like, yes, I want to use these. So I put them out. I've been just having a really good time using this, using what I have. There's a blush line that just came out from a brand that I'm going to talk about in just a minute because they're in my favorites today. Um, whoa, what was that? Because they're in my favorites today. Well, they are. Singe Beauty from Angelica Nikvist. She's a creator here on YouTube and she just came out with blushes. She had a brush line that's been live for about, I don't know, maybe a year. And she just came out with blushes that are similar in vibe. They all have this kind of sheen that looks really skin-like. There are a couple of colors that might be a little bit similar, but in general, they're a lot warmer, perfect for 70s looks. So I really wanna check out those blushes, but in the meantime, I could buy new blush now, or I could just luxuriate in what is in my collection. The blushes are gonna be around for me when the time is right. So let's use that segue about Singe Beauty to talk about her beautiful brushes. One of these I use every single day. Look at this, look at this wild little brush. So this is her blush brush that I use today to put on a blush that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. This is the Singe Beauty F06 brush. And I have used this for both cream and powder blushes. It is beautiful. It is an unusual brush to me because it feels like when I use it, all of the pressure comes from here. So I'm like, wouldn't this result in like dots on my face? But it doesn't. It just moves the product around beautifully. I'm wearing a matte 
MAC blush, which depending on the color you get, they're sort of notoriously hard to use. It blended it really quickly and it's just been fun to use. It's just like a kind of a fun shape, a really long, beautiful handle. I love the color. I love the color with my shirt. Look at this vibe. Really enjoying this brush, the F06. This is the brush that I use every day. Look at the shape. Look at this little paw paw print shape. <laughs> this is the Singe Beauty F02 brush and I use this every day for my concealer. And I have to keep reminding myself I don't have to use as much concealer with this brush. It is very, very soft and dense. It will move the product around evenly and not absorb it. So I don't need to use three dots of concealer under my eye. I need to use one. I'm kind of saving my product and also getting a beautiful blend with this. I use it by my nose, I use it under my eyes, boop, 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 I use it on my chin. I, I use this all the time, all the time. Let me touch up my powder here, I'm getting excited. Powder touched up. Okay, so I talked about these, I talked about these. Okay, now I got this recommendation from a video from Julia Adams MUA. Had never heard of this MAC blush before. It is a beautiful color. I am obsessed with it. I am wearing it today. Just full fantasy 80s diva. This is the MAC blush in the color Burnt Pepper. It's like a bleached red. I am, I must admit, obsessed with the concept of a bleached red. It's warm, it's bright, it is subdued and desaturated. It is the perfect blush for that sunburnt on purpose look. And for me as a person with oily skin, I don't wanna look shiny all the time. I don't want my face to look wet all the time. Like I was gonna talk about these as something that were a little bit, I haven't really found my, <laughs> found my flow with these Huda Beauty, their new cream blushes. They smell amazing, the packaging is amazing, but they make my face look a little wet and I think I'm over it. She says as she is like fully beaming in quote, melted gold. But that's not what I mean. <laughs> I mean like all over my cheeks, like I wanna be strategic with it, you know? I wanna put it where I want it. And as we all do, having a matte blush, it lets the oils in my skin break through over the day. It wears beautifully. This color is just something else, man. It's like a muted brick red, but not because it's still got this little sort of poppy quality. There's like a brightness and a freshness and a sweetness to this blush that I just love. I don't know if you can tell I'm intoxicated by my love for it. Not, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell I'm intoxicated. No, okay. Now we're gonna get on to lips. Let's talk about what I'm wearing right now. This was a special purchase for me. I have so many red lipsticks. I love reds. I don't know if you can tell by my last video, my 70s red lip gloss. I love all of the different kinds of reds that you can have, okay? The textures, the undertones, the zaza. I love it. I saw this also on Julia MUA's lip combo video, and this is the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvet Lipstick in number 36. If you get it at Nordstrom, you get this disco ball slash subway tile. It sort of reminds me of subway tile, <laughs> but you get this disco ball limited edition packaging and this is the lipstick. It's what I'm wearing today. The texture of this is, it is like you're falling into the night sky. It is so velvety and so plush. It's a perfect texture for an inky, matte lipstick. Givenchy, I think they really know how to do packaging that makes their products feel really special. I'm excited to use it all of the time and it's just this gorgeous deep but bright true red. Unbelievable. So beautiful. And I'm wearing it with, I mixed a couple of lip liners but this is the main one. This is my Isom dual ended lip liner in red. I also used the deep end of this nude one. And I checked on this last night. I didn't see these pencils like available exactly in these color combos, but they do still have the dual ended pencils. I saw a deep red and I saw a bright red, but separated into different pencils. And each of the reds had 
a nude lip liner on the other end, which I would argue is probably more versatile for someone. I was going to say for me, but considering the amount of red lipsticks that I have, <laughs> this is actually, this is actually very helpful switching in between lip liners like this, but they do have color combinations that I think are actually much more versatile for a person. Maybe you have one red lipstick and you have a couple of nudes. Well, you have your red lip liner and you have your nude lip liner in one pencil. So I think that's amazing. And I've really been enjoying using these, but in particular, the red one. So if you're interested, they're excellent pencils and they're long wearing, they set. This is another pencil that I've discovered. Ugh, does this video need to be retitled Julia Adams MUA made me buy it? Because kind of, these are the Freck Beauty Makeout Club Nude Muse Lip Liners. These, why am I saying these? It's just one. This is the shade 05. So I'm just realizing that I didn't swatch the lip liners for you, but this is like a warm brown, but it has like a little tiny, tiny, tiny olive quality. Like there's something about it that's a little bit special. It's not warm, like orangey. It just, it gives me a lot of definition and they stay freaking put. Very, very special. Let me just swatch these Isom lip liners for you. This is the bright red side. This is the dark red side. Ugh. I'll swatch this one for you too. It is the deep nude and the like beige nude side, the light nude. Feeling that. I'm feeling that. Should I swatch this lipstick for you too? I mean, I'm wearing it, but okay. Let me swatch. Oh God, that's going to be over my bones. All right. That's kind of better. That color, you can't. You can't, but you can. <laughs> it is available, number 36. Okay, and then the last lip product, this gloss. This is Halsey's kid sister brand to About Face Beauty. It's AF94. These just have a little bit of a lower price point, these products, but this lip gloss, the Give Em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss, so good. Okay, <laughs> I have the light pink, I have the clear, which is gorgeous, glassy, and then I have this one. This is called Honey, I'm Home, and it is the most perfect beige gloss to ever exist. There, I said it. I said it, I regret nothing. Let's see, is this even gonna show you anything at all? It is, look at this. It's the perfect undertone, perfect. It is a neutral beige gloss. It doesn't fall into your lip lines. It is super high shine. It is slightly sheer, but not so sheer that if your lips are super pigmented, it's gonna look awkward, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna look patchy or like you see streaks of color of the lip gloss, that does not happen. It is even glassy, 70% opaque color on your lips. I don't know how this is done. This is technology for the people. This color is so, beautiful. They also have a dark red that I really want to try. If I could recommend you try one, honey, I'm home. Get the beige. If you're not into a beige kind of a feeling, get the clear one. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Slam dunk. This glass is a slam dunk. Okay, so I'm, maybe I'm most excited to talk about these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the book that I read in August, I've been reading a couple of other ones, but the book that I finished in two days was Normal People. Like, what do I even do with my life <laughs> now that I've read this book? What do I even do? Look at this. I have a copy where they're like in a sardine can. They're little sardines. What a beautiful book about being vulnerable to another person and being imperfect, deeply imperfect in front of another person and just loving a person and letting them love you and letting them know you love them and just the push and the pull of being a human being that is different than another human being. <gasps> it's so good. It was sexy. It was romantic. It's awkward. It's like a gut punch. I could only imagine Paul Mescal in the part of Connor. And then right after this, I was like, oh, I have to watch the series. And I started to watch the series. But my problem is I was imagining Paul Mescal with his like, mohawk mullet and facial hair and he is like a freshly scrubbed I mean he's playing he's playing a teenager in the show and I'm like okay I don't know what to do but 
I know the show is so good. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I don't know when I'm gonna watch it or if I'm gonna watch it. I do love Paul Maskell, but the book is so good. Also things that I've been loving, Sam Chapman, who was part of the Pixie Woo team, Sam, Samantha Chapman and Nicola Chapman, they made makeup tutorials for years and years. Pixie Woo, I think, was my second channel that I subscribed to ever in like 2008. Samantha Chapman's videos from that Pixie Woo channel are all deleted, they're all gone. But Sam Chapman made her own channel on YouTube, a new one. Recently, she has started, and I hope she keeps up with this because it is so in line with what I love. She has started this character deep dive for movie characters and doing the makeup for these movie characters. She did Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction. She did Beyonce's character in Dream Girls, and she did like Stifler's mom, Clarice from Silence of the Lambs, going into details about the character and why the makeup in that particular recreation that she's doing, what that says about the character. It's like a character deep dive and makeup tutorial. Ugh. And it's so good. You can tell she's really passionate and interested in it. I love it. I am continually looking for style inspo from movies, books, everywhere. I love old movies. And so the fact that she's doing something like this is very, very exciting. I'm here for a new chapter of Sam Chapman on the internet talking about movie characters. I'm here for it. Speaking of movie characters, I have found the only podcast that I've ever liked ever. I haven't really seen this actor in much. I know he was in Ted Lasso. I just haven't watched it. But my brother shared an interview from NPR. But he was like, this is a guy from Ted Lasso. And he's like talking about movies or whatever. And I think you'll like it. And the actor's name is Brett Goldstein. I listened to the interview, loved it. Loved what he had to say about creating art in dark times. I just thought the interview was really good. I wanted to listen to the interview again, so I was recently searching for it. Then found out that he has a podcast called Films to be Buried With. The podcast is so good. It's basically in an interview format where he is talking to a comedian, an actor, whoever. He starts off every podcast with the person that he's talking to has just died and now they're in the afterlife and everybody who's in the afterlife wants to know about their lives but through films that they watched. It's this interview with a specific set of questions about different kinds of movies and how they affected you. Like what's the sexiest movie you've ever seen? What's a movie that you love that's not critically acclaimed? Things like that. I have been eating it up, man. And it's so funny and fun and poignant, really entertaining. And I've been watching a ton of movies from the suggestions that people say, and I'm just having a great time. I'm having a great time with it. So films to be buried with. If you love movies or you're looking for something to watch, you gotta listen. And my lifestyle favorite, I know you were on the edge of your seat. You're like, what's her lifestyle favorite? She alluded to it in the beginning. Okay, my lifestyle favorite. I got on the train, baby. I got on this little car caddy cup. <laughs> train the triple c mine is from simple modern i got it on amazon and i know what you're thinking you're like what isn't that shorter than the usual yes the hell it is and i'm going to tell you why leaving lipstick on a glass or a straw i think can be very chic sometimes i don't want it you know what i mean lipstick on a wine glass sure lipstick on a straw like it looks a little it, it makes me look like you're very thirsty so i was like i really want one with a black straw and i loved this tone on tone leopard they also had a cream leopard one but i was like the lipstick's gonna show up on it can't do the cream and the cream was in the larger size and i was like oh well i don't want to get the smaller size i don't want to get the 30 ounce i want to get the 40 ounce then i thought about it for one second and i was like why do i need this tall ass cup in my life do I? What if I just get the 30 ounce? This is the perfect size. I am so glad it fits all of my needs. It looks chic, but a little bit tawdry. <laughs> it barely shows lipstick. It will absolutely show nude lipsticks, but I didn't think about that, but it's totally fine. Doesn't show most lipsticks. <laughs> and it fits perfectly in my water cooler. So it just fits like right in the little slot where I can pour my water out into it and the tall cup would have not fit at all 
so this fits perfectly with my needs. It doesn't tip over. This is an amazing design. This is, I get it. Like I get what the people are, what the people are on about. Yeah, my cup is from Simple Modern. I love it. I use it every day, all day. I'm trying to get hydrated out here, people. And that's it. That's it for my August favorites, okay? That is what I've been loving in the month of August. Please tell me what you have been loving. What have you been up to? And I hope that you have gotten some inspiration from this on your beautiful day that I hope you're having. If you're not having a beautiful day, I hope that you can find some beauty in it. Okay, I think we know what time it is. I think we know it's time to say later. Skaters.